Hey guys, this is Jaser. How's everything going? In this video, I'm going to take a look at 7A3, minimum distance between BSD nodes. We're given a binary search tree with a root, which is the minimum difference between the values of any two different nodes in the tree. 4, 2, 6, 1, 3, nu, nu. Like the tree like this. Uh, the minimum difference, of course, might be 1, 2, and 2, 3, or 3, 4, right? All of them generates the difference with 1, so we should return 1. The BSWT will not be null. Okay, so for this tree problem, let's just uh, uh, look in the, at the details of the simplest form, which is the F3 node, 4, 2, 6. Like uh, this is A, left node is B, and right node is C. So because of BST, uh, we know that uh, B is more than A is more than C, right? So uh, if we need to choose two numbers from these three nodes tree, we need to choose two, four, and four, six. There's the distance between two and six must be bigger than two, four, or four, six, right? So the mean minimum must be B and A or A and C. Right, so if we take the root node, suppose there is the optimal result will be this root node with something else. It must be what? It must be, say, if root node is in the optimal result, then it must be. Must be. What? The numbers to the left are smaller than it, right? So it must be biggest of the left. So it means biggest left versus root and the what? Root the right numbers. Well, all of them are bigger than it, so it might be smaller, smaller, smallest left, right, right? So for each node, we actually need to get the maximum of left and the smallest of minimum of right. And to get the possible result, so that's give us the uh, recursion solution. We create a recursion solution. We, uh, we when we walk on the node, we will get the minimum of left, get the maximum of right, and the return the mean, the minimum and max of itself. Right? Cool. That's it. So we get first we get we call the walk itself. Recursively of the left node. So the main left, max left would be walk node left. The node left might be nor, so we handle nor here. Nor here. My keyboard has some problem, man. Anyway. I gotta tolerate it. Oh, I cannot tolerate this. Shit. Okay, anyway. Sorry. If it is null, then its minimum cannot be used, right? There's no uh, minimum or uh, maximum. So we just return some invalid values. For the minimum, let's say it's just the infinity. We get the, we we are getting the uh, absolute value, so it doesn't matter. But for consistency, I think for the for the mean, we choose uh, maximum uh, positive. For the maximum, we choose negative, right? This be better. Okay, now again we get the mean right and the maximum right. No, right. Right? Cool. As we analyzed here, we could update the result. Infinity. The result should be mean self and these two uh, intervals, uh, the th these two difference, right? Math absolute value. Which means max left uh, node val. Yeah, and math abs mean right 
the graph. Cool. Now we actually we have already updated the result. We need to return the maximum and return the min max, including this node, right? We return. The minimum should be, of course, should be min left, right? And the maximum right should be the maximum. So this is it. And the return result. So that's it. Hmm? Uh, I'm sorry. Ah, we forgot to walk, man. We step on the root. Walk, no, no, uh huh. Result will be updated with maximum left and main right. Uh huh. Get the minimum and we return the minimum, which should be minimum left and the maximum right. Yeah, and then we will step on the root. Return the result. Huh? <laughs> oh, I'm curious. So, where's the problem? Okay, we walk on the node, we will walk on the left and walk on the right. So, it's infinity, the minimum, it's infinity. Ah, yeah, I'm sorry. The infinity, we, we set it to the, to the leaf node, right? So it might be infinity. And actually, we need to update it with the main. We need to update it with the current node. Yeah, I think we're doing great. Yeah, so this is the recursion solution. Time. Every node is traversed for once. Linear time, space, there will be a call stack. It's the height of the tree. Yeah, this is the uh, first solution with uh, recursion. And uh, could we do something else? Um, I didn't come up with this idea, but it's uh, uh, it's, it's came up with some someone else. I think it's very cl uh, clever. So the distance, uh, so the binary search tree is the left node will be smaller than the middle. The middle will be smaller than the right, right? If we do traverse the tree uh, with in order traversal, we will create the ascending array, right? Let's see uh, if in order traversal. So the for the case in the example, we will get one, two, three, four, six, and so the minimum distance will be in be between these two adjacent numbers, right? So, yeah, that's we can we we can easily get that. Okay, so we'll create a walk method, and when we are, we need to do. Uh, in order traversal, and okay. So how we we do we do in order traversal with the recursion? Easy. If node has left, we walk on the node left, right? And then we process middle. If node right, walk node right. So this is the and it, we're done. So this is the in order traversal. Let's see if we if works. Uh, no, that. You see, we get one, two, three, four, six, just as we want. And when we are cal calculating the two adjacent nodes, we need to keep track of the previous one, right? So let prev equals infinity. And when we are processing the node, we will cal update the result. Minimum result. with the brief 
with uh, node val, right? And don't forget to update the pre value, which is node val itself. Cool, and uh, I think that's done. Yeah. So this is also work uh, for time. Every node will be traversed for only once, so linear time. A space. Well, it's still we use a recursion, so there will be a call stack. Um, so it will still be the height of the tree. Okay, so that's all for this one. Uh, personally, I like this approach. It's easy to understand. We simplify the tree problem into a tree with three nodes and deduct the, the solution, and just use a recursion to return the result uh, return the, the intermediate data we, we want right okay this kind of two different approaches and the traversal you know the traversal seems like a trick anyway that's all for this problem hope you help see you next time bye bye